Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be taking a look at a new game called My Time at Sandrock. All right. Uh, travel to a desert community of Sandrock and take on the role of a fledgling builder. Use your trusty tool set to gather resources, construct mines, and turn your rundown workshop into a well oiled production facility to save the town from the jaws of economic ruin. Oh, man. A lot on my shoulders. Uh, this is on Steam. It is $25, and let's go ahead and start a new game. So we're going to be starting a new character here, KJ48. You could be male or female, and then there's different voices. These down here are female. These are male. I'm going to take number three. And let's go to next. Oh, boy. This is uh, <laughs> this is going to get pretty deep. So this is what I came up with. You know, he looks he looks a little bit on the nice side. So I decided to give him... Uh, some scars where we got where we going here facial yeah facial tattoo uh that's a, supposed to be a facial tattoo no that's a scar from combat this guy's a badass all right let's go ahead and confirm that and now you have to pick your birthday uh choose your birthday monday tuesday wednesday Friday, saturday does it have to be this month no uh choose your birthday where does it say the months summer autumn winter okay that's it all right well my birthday is december 9th so i'm gonna pick winter and I'm going to go with the ninth. Uh, yeah, sounds good to me. Hi there, you must be the new builder. I'm Ian, the other new builder. I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mian. Uh, before we get started here, I want to go over two things. Number one, it's really nice having voice acting in a game like this. Um, no game I play has voice acting, so that's freaking awesome. Uh, also, uh, the developing alpha version does not represent the final quality. This is an early access, so please keep that in mind moving forward. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. Okay, I will follow. I will follow you to victory. All right, so we can sprint. We can jump. I think that if we double tap something, we can like roll. But over here, I don't know how to do that. Howdy there, I'm Yan, president of the Sand Rock Commerce Guild. Pleased to make your acquaintance, yada, yada, yada. What's up, bro? I'll be overseeing you with me on, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me more as, um, a buddy that's your, uh, uh, supervisor. It seems nice enough. This here's Mason. He's retiring, hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. Uh, what am I talking about? Anyway, see that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Look at your crap hole. Oh, sorry, Mason. Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And, well, for other people too, I guess. <laughs> okay, so this guy's this guy's got a little shade on him. Uh, well, I am now speechless. Uh, Mason, as the uh, established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Yeah, let's hear you. Let's hear it, Mason. Um, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I'm on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is yours now. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, <laughs> and. Uh, it is certainly those things, but you may also find that the place has a lot of <sighs> heart. <laughs> I believe that will suffice. May you bring Telesis to the land. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to the blue moon. There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my yakmel milk on. The voice acting's pretty... I mean, I don't have a lot of experience in voice acting, but it seems pretty good. Take her easy. Take it any way I can get it. Well, he always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you're used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. <laughs> it's uh, frowned upon, anyway. But there's plenty of scrap metal and driftwood you can break apart. Okay. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a, a pig hammer? A hammer, just as the name implies. We use it only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. I already have a pig hammer. I don't need another one. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and 
crafted at your work table. Why don't you try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, uh, no rush. <laughs> uh, see you. So long, partner. Yeah, all right. True. Let's do this. It is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking up things is fun. Picking up things is fun. Okay. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already getting pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. Okay. Open the map. All right. There's my home. Big town here. Let's follow her to home and see what we got over here. Oh, oh the train. Co oh, the train right there. <laughs> Wouldn't have saw it. Probably would have heard it, though. Look at this place. This place is a dump. Hmm. Kind of slim pickings. But at least he did leave you a work table. That should be all you need to make a pick hammer. Oh, I get it. A pick hammer. Oh. You know, <laughs> Sandrock is still well known across all free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Okay, Once I we see. Have pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, okay. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Oh, yeah? Um, How you see, doing? The reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that. But I didn't hesitate signing that contract. Okay. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way. So let's make a promise. Builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's give it our all, okay? Listen, I'm here to make I'm here to make bank. I'm here to make money, get rich and powerful. If giving it my all is how I'm gonna do that, then that's what I'll do. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Catch you later. Okay. Check your missions. As you get closer to people in town, you'll unlock more ways to interact with them. L is for the missions. Yep. We need to build uh, a pick hammer. We're gonna need some stone and some wood. Alright. Well, I guess I might as well pick up that rope since it's there. And it looks like there's... Oh, yeah. A stone axe. Okay. Very good. This is my work table. Uh, it lets you filter things. Uh, this is what you need to make. This is what it costs. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> got it. Got it. Got it. So, the things we need to uh, gather are going to be marked as blue. So, it would be pretty easy. Um, they might actually be marked on the map as well. I'm taking a look. At, I, I'm, like... I've only played this game for about a half hour. So, I'm very green. Um, oh, I'm getting experience. That's so cool. All right, so these things are not marked on the map. I guess the green spots are people. I don't, well, there's two green spots there, and then there's other blue spots. I'm guessing the blue spots are maybe animals or, you know, stuff like that. All right, so now we need to make ourselves a pick hammer. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the color represents the quality day, and the higher quality items have better buffs and effects. Green. All right, cool. It's got a tool strength of 10, tool strength plus 10%, um, a special... Pick hammer that can not only dig for ores in the ruins, but can also be used to turn debris into usable materials. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oops. Alright, so we should be able to knock this up now, right? Now you can use a pick hammer to break up junk. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Now, I do have stats in this game. Let's look a little bit at the stats. Okay. Here's my character. And there's all your stats. There's your items on your character. There's your stuff in your tool, your toolbar. All right, you got health points, endurance. Is endurance stamina like when I run? I don't know. I'm not sure if endurance. I'm not sure what endurance is. Uh, in these games, usually you'll have something that will go down as you work. Okay, like as you're like mining stuff and building stuff, it'll go down, and then you have to sleep to get it back. All right, and I'm not sure which one that is. I'm not sure if it's stamina or endurance. We'll just we'll learn, but. All right, we got our pick hammer. Uh, let's go talk to Yan. Hey, Yan, look at me. Look at me. I think I'm people. Can I take this? Can I smash this? No. Probably not a good idea to smash stuff anyway. Okay. Now, one thing I don't like about this game. So far, I love everything about this game except for one thing. The loading times going into buildings is a bit off-putting, but that's all right. I'm sure I'll get used to it. 
Oh, oh, okay. Commerce Guild Guide. Oh, all right. So we've got a bunch of stuff there to read. And I want to talk to it. There we go. That's a nice looking pick hammer. It is the soul of a desert builder. Never lose it. But if you do, well, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Yeah, what do you do? Just sit here with your feet up all day? Next, let me tell you about the recycler. It's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it. Just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open to it on the control panel at the assembly station. Eh, don't worry so much. You'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Okay. Tab action wheel. Oh, this is the save? Okay. Quick save? Sure, why not? There you go. All right, so in order to make this thing, we're going to need um, a, a trough and two grinding saws, I believe. Let me just go double check. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. You got to collect them to make it. Uh, oh, you craft these. Oh, okay. Interesting. So where is the... Man, there's a lot of stuff I can craft now. Well, we could definitely sort. So there, we can make that stuff. We can make this stuff. Um, I don't see the recycler in here. Maybe that's not how you build it. Maybe I have to... Oh, what's this? Maybe this is how you build it. Yep, assembly station. This is your assembly station handbook. It keeps track of all larger machines you can make. Right now, you can only make the recycler. Um, open a diagram to check what you need to build this machine, how to get the materials. Okay. Um, click here to start making the recycler. Assemble. Oh, okay. When you start assembling, put your construction parts in the assembly station platform to complete it. Go to the handbook. Okay. So can I put them in, uh, any grinding saws? Yeah, so we need to, we need to get some grinding saws. So it looks like we need to grab some more materials out here. So let's do that. All right, this is just a wood pile so we can get stuff. Get experience. Wood, we do need stone. We need dregs as well. And let's look over here. I'm going to stay away from these uh, creatures. I'm not sure if they attack. They probably don't. But, oh, sandworm. Oh, can you fish in this game? Maybe. Um, they probably don't attack, but it's not worth the chance. These things are like level 6. At least the one I saw is level 6. We need an axe for this? Wait, what? Yeah, use axe. That's an axe. Why is it still red? Oh, it's not a good enough axe? Oh. More complicated kinds require upgrade your pick. Oh, upgrade it. Oh, okay. All right. Axe. There we go. We can do this. Okay. All right. More dregs. I forget how many dregs I'm going to need. Let's just go ahead and explore and get some get a good amount of stuff here. Uh, let's just gather. Yeah. I don't know if these things are going to attack or not. I guess I could always run away. Probably not going to be too much of a penalty for dying. Plus, I just saved. So, I'm not really going to worry too much about it. But, um... Oh, he's got a little happy face. He's a happy boy. Yeah, he's a happy boy. Okay, good. That's good to know. He likes me. Maybe I can, um, domesticate him or something. Oh, it shows on the right-hand side what I need. Alright, cool. That's fine. But it doesn't show what I need to actually make the stuff I'm going to need. So let's go back and see what we can make. So I thought I needed this stuff right here, uh, dregs, but no, I need Dynas. And you get that over here from the gravel with your, uh, your, what do you call it? Pick hammer? It's a weird name. I'm gonna grab some more. I'm also gonna need some more stones as well. Seems like I'm getting a good amount of stone. Also, you can kick these trees for stuff. I guess the idea is, like, once you kick the tree, it'll still be there. But if you cut it down, maybe it'll be gone forever. I don't know if you can, like, grow your own. I'm a, I, I know you can, like, farm in this game. I just, you know, I don't know if you can farm these cacti or not. Okay, I'm going to hit this stone as well. And, oh, need a better tool. Okay. Well, I should have plenty of stone because that, those, um, those rocks I was just hitting gave me a good amount of stone. So, all right. Let's go ahead and make a stone trough. We need one of these. And stone saws. We need two. We can only make one. Okay, so we're going to need a little bit more of that. Not a problem. Um, can I put this in there? Or... Yep, there we go. There we go. And now we just need one more grinding saw. Is there any more of those? They're not rocks. They're like... Were they sandstone? Gravel. Gravel. Okay. Yeah, they put all this stuff around your base so you don't have to go too far. If you just know where to find it. 
I am getting experience too, which is cool. I love experience. Leveling up is fun. And let's go ahead and make ourselves the saw. And there we go. Oh, we just leveled up. To, oh, we're level three now. Okay, so I'm, maybe I leveled up before. I didn't notice. Um, What does that do for me? It probably just told me, but I didn't, I didn't notice. All right, well, whatever. I'll, I'm sure I'll find out. And there we go. Okay. Uh, pick it up. Recycler. Sand absorption speed. Q capacity. Fuel. Co oh, fuel. Oh. A sensor machine that allows trans transformation of rubbish into usable ores and materials. Okay. Uh, where do we want to put this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I laughed about that for longer than I care to admit. All right, let's just go ahead and put this thing right here. All right, let's get out of it. And I need to go talk to Yen. I, I don't think there's anything I can do with this yet. So I'm not really sure. I don't, it doesn't say do anything. I'm just going to stay with what the game's telling me to do. Let's go talk to Yen and see what he got to say about this whole situation. Yeah, this game's pretty fun, man. I'm enjoying it. I, lo I love the direction and the voice acting. And it is a free open world, you know, um... There's survival aspects, there's building aspects, there's progression. It's, you know, pretty freaking fun so far. Hey, there you are. <laughs> no, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our whole town to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. The main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely uh, not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. Yeah, he don't know shit. So, now you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder. Why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Normally, the mayor handles registrations, but Minister Matilda's taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plant things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her plants need dirt to grow? <sighs> Say, she's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away. <laughs> but uh, why would I do that when I could just uh, recycle them uh, to you? <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. Consider it a new employee uh, bonus. Uh, why are you not thingy. looking at me? <laughs> anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. Okay, I got a mission. Commerce build guy. Oh yeah, that's the thing I picked up before. <laughs> okay, cool. So did he give me, like, do I have to learn what he gave me? Or builder's hand, there's a handbook. Oh, okay, uh, work table. Didn't I already, well, I already had a work table, but I didn't know how to make it. Now I can make a furnace. Oh, it's getting quartz. I don't know where to get quartz from. Quarry. Or refinery. Oh, okay. Interesting. Should I go to bed or should I just keep running around town in the middle of the night <laughs> trying to look for people? All right. I'm going to run around town looking for people. But before I do that, let's see what this does. Um, stamina. Yep. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat that. Okay. Just one stamina, but that's okay. It's something. <clears throat> Again, I don't know what what is going to make me sleep. I'm pretty sure it's stamina. I really don't know what endurance does. Uh, can you mouse over it? I'm mousing over it and clicking on it. It's not saying anything, so I'm not really sure what's up with that. What's up with that? Let's go register our place, and that guy. Oh, horses! I'd like to get a horse. Oh, who goes there? Yeah. Oh, it's you. <laughs> I thought you were one of Logan's gang. <laughs> the hell's with this Silly guy? Me. You look nothing like an outlaw. No, I don't. Well, I got a scar. Didn't you see the scar? And your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know the desert isn't kind to the fragile. This guy's a dick. Hmm. It is decided. I, the magnificent pen, the protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Uh, okay. Splendid. Let's go. 
track you is know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect? Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. <laughs> Doesn't matter which. All the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Bro. Okay. Uh, Spear, sword, daggers, sword and shield. Uh, Cause 10% damage. I don't really know if I... Without you facing lower level enemies, it's all the same. Um, <clears throat> let's go with the big sword, it'll be fun. Probably could barely hold the damn thing. Come, come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. Okay, uh, V is to lock on this head, attack, dodge, lock target. Shoot, lock target's a middle mouse button. I, I can't have that. My middle mouse button changes my DPI settings. It doesn't work um, in games. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I am going... Can't hide. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I'm just not going to lock on. Is that all you've got? Okay, Don't I'm doing... Me, you skip. Okay, I'm you doing can good. You can swing a weapon around. <laughs> We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? Uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Did I just feel pain? Your enemy's defense is broken. Don't Take this time to. Other moves. Damn it. I'm Your enemy's bored. defense is down, but watch out, they can still attack. Now uh, how do I. Um, oh, dodge. Okay. Got it. Stand still. This won't hurt much. No, because you're not going to hit me. Get on my level, bro. I can read you like a book, skinny arms. <laughs> I might be skinny, but I'm fast. Do you have like a... Can I just keep jumping? Oh, endurance. Oh, it's at the bottom of the blue bar. Okay, got it. Enough. I grow weary of this. Oh, he's about to smash me. Oh, no. Why are you smash me, bro? You just broke the whole and ground. This concludes the segment of my combat course titled... Never mess with pen. I hope you learned something. <laughs> I sure had fun teaching it. This guy reminds me a little bit of Gilderoy Lockhart, except if he was, like, actually tough. The first thing I would do if I were you is to go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. Okay. See ya. See ya wouldn't want to be ya. City Hall. Aww. You're so kind, old lady. Why, hello there. You must be the builder. I'm Minister Matilda from the Church of Light, filling in for Mayor Trudy. We're so excited to see you getting started as a builder here in Sandrock. They should have named this lady Boxer Mom. I have a friend Boxer Mom. It sounds just like this lady. If you're here, well, that means you must have passed Yen's little audition and you're ready to register your workshop. All you have to do is fill in the name of your workshop and we're all set. Um, oh god. Uh, cages. House of pain. Damn it! Cage town. <laughs> I hope I could change it later. I'd like to think of something different, but I don't want to take time right now to do it. That'll do it. If you ever want to change your workshop name again, you can buy a rename card okay. from the City Hall store. I'll tell you what, if this uh, if this Let's Play does well and I do ma many, many episodes, we'll we'll have uh, some kind of vote or something in the comment section of one of the videos uh, for what we would name our workshop. Congratulations, Builder. Your workshop is officially open for business in Sandrock. Whenever you're ready, you can start taking commissions from the commission board inside the Commerce Guild. Now, I'm not exactly known around these parts for my arithmetic, but I do reckon we can expect a lot from two builders as opposed to just old Mason by his lonesome. Work hard, then you'll have plenty of pocket money for yourself too, don't you know? Hmm, I dare say this calls for a celebration. 
Normally we have fireside meetings on Sunday nights, but I reckon I'll just round everyone up tomorrow to proper welcome you new builders. Ugh. Oh, and you must come. It won't no. be the same without you. No, I'm not going. See you then. I guess and I'll have to go because again, builder. It probably has something to do with the game that I have to actually go, but ugh, I don't want to go. <laughs> Look at me! Look at my builder's license! Oh my god! The fact that this guy holds stuff above his head is so Legend of Zelda. It's freaking hilarious. Oh. Oh hey. Did oh, you what's get a this? From Yen saying emergency come now as well. What's this? Wanted poster outlaw. Wonder what's the emergency. Oh, well, let's go in and find out. Let's go check it out, peeps. Yeah, I love him holding stuff over his head, man. That's so like Zelda music. Like Zelda music plays in my head. Me and my boys have had it up there with you. Where's our huh? Oh, look! Rocky! Oh, buddy, oh, pal! Rocky. <laughs> you buddy me, pal. Since Mason's leaving, you promised me you'd do it yourself. Forget First about it! A cold, and then it was your turtle meats. And today I find out you don't even got a turtle. Do you understand how much money I'm losing here? So now, I gotta give you a beatdown. Sorry, pal, but it's a company policy. Uh, oh, wait, no, Rocky, no, look! Well, what I really meant is, uh, I was bringing in new people to take special care of your commission. Uh, uh, look, here they are. Did what? we come at a bad time? No, no, you came at the perfect time. Uh, Mr. Rocky here is the big boss of Eufala Salvage. And he's got a very special commission that we should take care of right away. Okay, so we already have Boxer Mom in the game. This is guy's going to be PC Italian. All right, this guy's going to be PC Italian. So, oh man, I wish you could name the, the people. Oh God, that'd be so good. With Mason's departure, the commission sort of got lost in the shuffle for a few uh, months or so. But now that you two are both registered workshops, you can take this commission off my hands. Uh, help out, uh, right? Oh, yeah, sure. sure. That's what we're here for. Did you hear that? Our first big job. See, they're up for it. Uh, what do you say, uh, buddy pal? Forget about it. All right, Yen. Against my better judgment, I'm going to give you one more chance. This is my favorite voice actor so far. He's so good. <laughs> Listen here, builders. Rocky and his miners are working out of Paradise Lost. You know, that big looking ruins right next to the builder's workshop? My pal here commissioned two crane lifts to move things up and down this real long tunnel they're working out of. And since there are two of you, each one of you can make a lift. Easy peasy for all. Sorry for putting you two on the spot. If only Yan's doing his job like he's supposed to, and hey, I'm not your pal. If you're looking for parts, we have a bunch of salvage in our company backyard that you can ruffle through. It's located by the Paradise Lost Ruins. Lots of miners there. Can't miss it. Normally, we charge a weekly fee for access. But here, take a free one-week pass. Nice. When you're done, install it for me as well. She already drew me up a diagram for the lift. So yeah, you can have it. Hope you put it to better use than this sorry excuse for a builder here. Uh, my, uh, back was hurting. <laughs> All right, then. Based on this diagram, we won't be able to find these parts from any random scrap. I guess we'll need to take a look at Rocky's salvage yard. Oh, Looks like timer. we'll to use a furnace as well. Well, we can't finish if we don't get started. Let's do our best. Okay. Take it easy. Oh, I got a shirt. Look at me. <laughs> the hell is this little girl doing? Oh, deliver mail. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna. Hi. Oh. I'm Jasmine. I was delivering your sample newspaper. Oh, okay. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you will get each issue in the mail. Oh, okay. Hey, I bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this town like the back of my hand. Let me show you around. Uh, I don't. So, I really. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, if you aren't too busy later, I can still give you a tour. I mean, I'm pretty busy too. You need to find me before noon if you want a tour. I do business in the afternoon. See ya. What the? Hell? That was a shady little girl. Catch you later. Um, I would love a tour. 
Um, but I just got to do something else right now. So I went ahead and slept through the night. It said as long as you sleep by midnight, you'll wake up fully rested. Uh, I probably slept a little bit early. I think I went to sleep at like 2,300 hours. So that was 11. Um, but anyway, here is the junkyard we're supposed to go to. What that guy's doing. Um, so let's go on in here. And... Uh, Alright, so this is stuff we need for the bricks. Wooden sticks, thick rope, copper... Uh, copper sticks, and bearings. Um, don't seem to be getting any of that. I might have to make that stuff in the recycler. That's probably what I need the recycler for. But, yeah, let's just go ahead and grab a bunch of this stuff. Yeah, oh, man, this is pretty good. I wonder how much he charges you to get in here. Um, on the shoulders of buried giants. Mission start. Damn it. Let's see what it said. Isn't this a data disk? Should talk to a local researcher about it. Okay, we will do that later. Um, I really want to finish this quest I'm on right now before I do anything else. And we are going long here. So I'm going to just grab all this stuff and I'm going to go see what I can recycle it into. I'm assuming I have to recycle it or build it. I'm not sure. So I'm here at the Commerce Guild store. And I need to buy the thick rope recipe. So, let's go ahead and get that now. I, I don't know why you would want more than one. Um, now, do I have to read it, or do I just know it? Um, I don't see... Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Bunch of garbage in here. I guess I just know it. So, let's get back to base. Out here gathering plant fiber. And I'm trying to hit all the plants and stuff that are directly near my base. Because I'm assuming this base will uh, get bigger when I expand. But um, I also set up the, the crane thing over here. I don't know if I showed that or not. And I also um, have copper scrap being recycled. Um, did I just collect stuff? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it says collect. So I can't interact. There we go. So basically what you do is you pick what you want out here. I picked uh, sc cop copper scrap, which I got from that, you know, uh, that junkyard over there. And then it will it has a high chance to give all this stuff. So there you go. Different stuff gives you different things. Like this is guaranteed to give you dregs. Um, this is high chance. Um, guaranteed drags, so that's what the copper scrap is. Alright, so I'm just waiting for that to do its thing. And in the meantime, we're gonna make some rope. Uh, I think I need six. We can make five. That will be fine. We do need six. Right? I'm pretty sure we need six of that rope. Alright, so let's go. What's the first we need to put in there? Brick? Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna get brick from. But, alright, let me, uh, let me just finish up the rope. Alright, I just got a notice about the fireside meeting. I think I should be here. <clears throat> we're just gonna go long on this video to hell with it. Wait, she's not talking now? Come on, this is Boxer Mom. All right, but fair enough. Is not there we go. Goodbyes. There'll be plenty of time for that at Mason's retirement party. No, today is a celebration of hellos. Let's. Imagine if I didn't show up. <laughs> it's a bit embarrassing. Thanks, everyone. Very excited to be starting here. I'm going to do my very best to bring Telesis to Sandrock. Care to uh, say a few words? Uh, um, I want to be a great builder. I want to make friends. I'm going to live a carefree life. I want to be a great builder. Well said, builder. Couldn't have put it better myself. Everyone, let's be patient with our new builders while they learn the ropes. And builders, don't hesitate to ask any of us for help. We won't be hesitating in putting you all to work. One more time, a big sand rock welcome for our new builders. We have some omelets courtesy of none other than our very own Owen. Get them while they're mm. still hot. Go for some omelets. Meeting adjourned. My guy's out of uh, stamina. Maybe it'll give me some stamina. Cons oh, crap. I didn't conserve water. Okay. Take it easy. Oh, cool. So I actually did get something. All right. I'm just going to eat this now. Well, let's see what it does first. Maybe it's poisoned. We don't know. Uh, health. Oh, health for 70. Okay, never mind. No, we're not gonna. Why is it on my hotbar? How do I get it off my hotbar? Uh, like that. Beautiful. Okay, great. That didn't even take that long. Back to work. Sorry, I didn't get to hear some of this, but these. Like, I just woke up from sleeping through the night. This weirdo is outside my door. I mostly patrol the oasis. And if that water level moves even a centimeter, boy. You better believe I'll let everyone and their mother know about it. Now, where was I? I'm not really sure what water's for. I don't have a water... I don't have, like, a thirst meter or anything. Ah, uh, yes. As per the minister's instructions, I have come with a gift. Water, to be more specific. The most precious gift of all. 
If you say In so. Sand Rock, Martel's Oasis is pretty much our only reliable source of natural water. We also get some water from the other city-states, but it's expensive. So we need to be really careful and smart about how we divvy it out. Might I bring your attention to the humble little fence propped up around the oasis? It's the town's friendly way of saying, Don't take water out of the oasis all willy-nilly, or cut down the trees for that matter. <laughs> Makes if sense. If you're short on water in your workshop, might I recommend checking the plants around your workshop for fresh morning dew, or just come on down to the water tower overlooking the oasis. I'm pretty sure builder machines won't run without water in their water tank. So oh. I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other in the future. So water's well, basically like fuel. Any more of your time. <clears throat> See you at the water tower. Have a good day. Yeah. Got it. All right, I had the crane up. That was a mistake, okay? Because I need bricks. Now, originally I was getting bricks. I was getting like destroyed stone or whatever, or stone scrap. And I was using that to get bricks, but it takes a long time. It's not the proper way to do it. Here you go, stone scrap. It takes way too long and it's not the proper way to do it. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to make a furnace. All right, once you make the furnace, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. You can turn the stone into bricks. So I think I have just about everything I need for the lift now. So let's go ahead and assemble it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, wooden sticks. Okay. We make wooden sticks in here, I believe. There we go. We just need a few more. We don't have any wood. Of course, we don't have any wood. I made a storage chest. Let's see if I put the wood in the storage chest. Um, I did put some stuff in the storage chest. That might actually be the wood sticks. Let's take a look. Yep, there we go. And, oh, nope, that was something else. Okay, yeah, so we still need more wood sticks. That's not a problem. I'm gonna, oh, here we go. We got a wood pile right here. Hopefully this will give me all the wood I need for the wood sticks. And then uh, the crane will be done, and then we'll turn it. This is a long video. I don't normally do videos this long, but I'm really enjoying this game, and I want to finish this quest before uh, we're done, so... All right, wood stick. Oh, we still don't have enough. I mean, we just need one more, right? Yep, shouldn't be a problem. Also, check this out. I'm out of water. And the furnace and the recycler both take a certain amount of water. So I'm going to put any water I can in here. Hopefully that'll be a good amount. Um, I don't think I could put any more. I don't think you could put... I have these, like, small water things, but I don't think they'll let me put them in there. Uh, these right here. So... Log, quarry, gather, small bits of moisture. So that's just a small bit of moisture. Maybe I can turn that into water. All right. And there we go. Thick rope. Pick up. Beautiful. All right. Now, do I got to, like, bring this back to the guy? Uh, yep. I got to bring it back to the guy. So it's pretty cool. The quarry's right by my house. And I've got a week pass. And I've been going in there and just getting a bunch of stuff. Now that my stuff runs on water and I know how that works, I am going to have to figure out some water. Um, I'll look into that. When they were talking about water, I wasn't paying attention. I was like, I don't really see what I need for water. So, uh, what the hell? Install? Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. Um, check the quality of your item. Manual, low quality, preferred, high quality, preferred. Um, I don't know what that means. Let's just install it. There we go. Look at me go. Look at me go with my new shirt. Oh, by the way, I put on that shirt. I didn't show you the stats. It's got some, like, defense and stuff. I'll show you in a minute. Yep. That's how I got these scars. Forget about it. This freaking guy. Oh, am I going to be able to go down there now and, like, like get stuff? I think there's robots down there. But there is also better materials, maybe. Yeah, boy, what up? I got to tell you, those two lifts you made are running like a drain. Looks like Yan finally did something right higher in the two of you. Maybe we don't have to move out of Sand Rock after all. There you go. Well, now me and my boys can finally get back into the abandoned ruins and get to work. But we're still way behind on our mining quota. Say, that gives me an idea. You two like diving, don't you? Uh, sure. Sure we do. Ruin diving is what builders do best. Well... I think I got another way we can both help each other out. You want to do some digging? Uh... I'll no come back worries. and get it later. You do your thing. I'm free. I'd love to check out this abandoned thing. See, see? Yeah, he, see, he's got a little exclamation point. I could probably come back here and get the quest anytime I want. So let me just show you the shirt really quick. We got levels up and skills and stuff. We're going to look into that next episode. Um, but I will show you. First of all, these are the pants I got. Uh, hit points plus 186. Ability power plus 5. Right click, and then it goes on my guy. All right, and these are the sh this is the shirt I got. Defensive points and ability power. 
So that is freaking phenomenal. Guys, if you want to see more of this, make sure you uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, if you want daily videos, two videos a day of games like this, make sure you make sure you uh, you know subscribe, hit the bell, whatever, share the video. Anything you can do to help me out would be awesome. And uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more. I'm going to go by the views, the likes, and the comments to decide if I'm going to do more of this game. Um, spoiler alert, I'm at least going to do an episode two, at the very least, because I'm having a great time. So, And I hope you guys are too. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.